So this is just a standard view of the all requests for quotations screen. The bottom two records in here are those that I have actually manually created myself, and these are stemming to, from a purchase order. Um, this one here, I have already sent the documents out to the vendors, and if you wanted to review like the screenshot I had in my presentation, the quotation journal that's generated, you can reprint that at any time and get a view of what the vendor would have received from you. When you're ready to respond to this, let's say you got a response back from one of your vendors. So if I open up my request for quotation, I have two items that I'm looking for pricing on. So I have a power cord and a virtual power supply. If I look over, here's the quantity I'm looking for. Here's the delivery I'm expecting, the date, and the expiration date of when I expect my responses back from my vendors. I can have unit prices in here. I could indicate any discounts or discount percentages I want, and then my net amount that the system will calculate for you. All of this is available out of the box in the system. Now, if I go back and I look, you can see that the status I've already had is sent. This would be grayed out if I hadn't sent these out yet. I can then go in, I can manage any replies that I have on these. So I sent this to three different vendors. So I have Fabricam Supplier, I have Tailspin Parts, and I have Fabricam Electronics. I can manage the responses to these vendors um, and actually record them in the system. So I could go up to Edit, edit RFP, R, excuse me, RFQ reply, and I could enter in the pricing that those vendors have supplied. Once you get those back from all three vendors, you have the ability to compare prices. So I'm gonna click back one screen to go back to our, back to my main screen. And here you can see, once I get replies from all my vendors, I can compare the replies and I can see the different prices between all the vendors that have submitted their RFQs to us.